Hello, this is Marxus, and today I'll be going over fighting mid on CP Gullywash. It'll be just the mid fight here. We'll go over the rollouts for each class, some common tricks to use on mid, and then I'll provide you with two basic mid strats to use in your own games if you're wondering kind of what to do. And I'm also going to talk about each class's role for this particular mid fight. I remember when I was starting out, Gully Wash was a map that gave my team a lot of trouble. I looked high and low for anyone that could help me with this map. So I I know it can be it can be a little confusing and a, quite a bit different than what you see in other sixes maps if you're perhaps more familiar with CB Badlands or Granary. Unlike previous videos that I've done, I'm actually going to go over the calls for this mid a little bit and that's just because I should warn you that you need to agree with your team about what the ramps up onto mid are called and here I've got them labeled just ramp which is the much smaller sort of little ramp up and then a ramp room or banana and it doesn't really matter what you call them you just need to have a little discussion amongst yourselves about what you're going to call that because especially when I was starting out and people didn't really agree about what to call those things, somebody would be like, they're in ramp, and then everyone would look one way and get shot in the back. Uh, so make absolutely certain that you call the two separate sides of this mid different things so that you can recognize what's going on there. For the most part, everything else is, is agreed upon. Here we're going to talk about rollouts. This is how you get to mid, and it's very important that everyone know what they're supposed to do so that you get to mid with the minimal amount of confusion at the very start of your mid fight. I'll go over the demo man first because his is hardest and also pretty much most important then soldier, then scout, and then the medic mainly covering the heal order to the point where you arrive at mid. So to start us off here, you've got two options as demo, choke and big door. Where do you want to go? What are the advantages associated therein? Choke gives you a lot better vision of what's going on. It's slightly slower. Big door, you're slightly faster, but you can't really see what's going on, especially if the enemy's demo also goes big door. So it's mainly just what works out for your team and what you personally feel most comfortable with. In general, most demos will go choke unless their team is going the opposite way, which we'll, we'll cover later. And I'm going to provide you now with two video examples of these rollouts. This is Platinum showing the choke rollout. You can modify this slightly by doing our little ramp slide off the stairs going into the after the first jump, but you don't have to do it that way. You can use a second sticky if you really want to. And this is an example of Banny doing the big door rollout. Now we're going to talk about soldiers. One's going to jump to mid while being healed, and the other one's going to shoot himself a couple times and then run to mid with his equalizer out, and then stop and get healed real quickly before coming out to mid. And I'll show you video examples of those two different formats. This is an example of Tyrone doing the jumps on Gully Wash. You can do an additional jump in the tunnel if you're using gunboats. Tyrone's using shotguns, so he can't afford to do that to his health. This is Mackie equalizing to mid on Gully Wash. He is wearing gunboats, so he has to shoot himself a bunch more times than you would if you were using shotgun. Also, he grabs the pill bottle. You don't have to do that. If you decide not to, you should just drop your equalizer much sooner while you're still in the tunnel so that you have enough health when you get to the big door. Now we're going to talk about scouts at mid. Always go out of the right side door and always go out of 
lower main, the big gray door that you just saw if you watched the previous segments of this video, the demo on a lower rollout or both the soldiers go through. It's That's because buffs are going to play into this mid because of how short the rollout is for you as a scout. So you need to make sure that your medic's getting you that overheal. I'm going to talk about a couple different options here. I'm not going to show videos because there's really, I mean, it's walking. So you're either going to run to choke. So you're going to go out of the big shutter door and then go all the way to choke. You could jump up the left side panels, which I'll show. Uh, you can jump up off the log onto mid. You can jump off the panels or you can run up the ramp. In the next little bit of this, I'm going to show you jumping off the left, jumping off the log, and jumping off the panel just in order so that you can see uh, how it's done. You Also, as a scout player, you should practice these sorts of things so that it's second nature and you can do it really quickly. I'm a medic main, so... I, you know, some of this is a lot slower and sort of for demonstration purposes, but you should, you should practice this, especially if you're the scout that likes to get a little bit more aggressive at mid. This is just a short demonstration of me sort of hopping around, showing you some other ways to get up to mid as scout, besides walking through choke or going up either of the ramps. These are all preferable in general to walking up the ramps because walking up the left ramp is too slow and walking up the right ramp, you're pretty much bound to eat explosive things in the face. Now we're going to talk about the medics rollout or the heal order. You want to heal your demo until his first really big jump away from you. So the first little jump that he does to get to the shutter door, continue healing him through all of that. Also, for your own benefit, make sure that he doesn't do the jump until he's got 260. If he does, he's made a mistake, and you need to tell him not to do that again. Then you'll flip around real quick and heal your jumping soldier who has not yet damaged himself. Unless you're doing some really weird strat where your roamer is going to get to mid really fast, you must make certain that your jumpy soldier is not jumping around to the door because this the rollout is so short here that you don't have time to get that soldier back to 300 if they don't have crits heals at the start of your rollout. Then you heal your scouts as you're approaching main. Then your jumping soldier should be back in front of you after their first big jump, you heal them, they'll be, you know, somewhere around the 250 range, and then they're back at 300 in no time, and you heal your equalizing soldier to 300 very quickly, and you're done. Now I'm going to show a, a quick video demonstration of all that. So to begin, we'll talk about the scouts here. I've got a, a yellow line and a green line scout. We'll talk about the yellow line scout first. That's the aggressive scout. And a lot of people are saying that the passive aggressive scout sort of setup is outmoded. And in general, I would agree during the rest of the game. But at mid, there's still definitely a difference in roles between scout players. What the aggressive scout, the yellow lines, is trying to do, I've got the steps numbered, right? So step one is you run out of a big door, you go up the log, you stand on the point and move forward. Your objective in step two is to get the demo man to look at you and shoot at you. You're also attempting to determine if that demo man is at choke and is protected. So you're going to probably have the best sight lines as to what's going on. So as the aggressive scout, you need to call where their demo is. If their demo's on the ground, then he's dead to you, essentially. Like, you're not 
really going to do anything with him, but you need to say something so that your team knows generally where most of the damage on the enemy team is going to be coming from or should be coming from. If he's at choke, you look at him, say he's at choke in, in your mic. Then if there's, you make a decision. If he's unprotected, there's not a scout with him, you skip step three and you go immediately to step four and kill their demo man. Because yes, scout is important, but demo man, especially at mid, is much more important. And if their demo man is not protected, he must die. And even if you die in doing so, if you hurt the demo really badly and make him leave mid, then you've essentially won. And a demo for a scout trade is really good. Assuming he's protected, you get him to look at you and such. The reason that you get him to look at you and mess around with him just a little bit is so that your soldiers get clean jumps uh, it, when they're trying to do their thing at mid. And so your demo is relatively unpressured and can move where he wants to on mid to do the damage that he needs to do for you to win mid. Now, if their demo's protected in step two, you don't want to fight that unless you get really lucky and you meet shot that scout and he didn't see you or something weird happens. Otherwise, you're going to go to step three. What you do at step three is you back up after the, the initial phase. So that means your roamer got his jump off, which I'll talk about later. Your roamer got his jump off. Now you back up a bit. You get healed in step three. And then once you're at pretty good health, over 125, you run forward. And make sure, simple rule of scout, unless it's a wounded medic, you don't chase it out of this area. So where the four is, that's all the further you're going to go. You don't chase things out into second because you have to cap the point in general but get healed charge in probably die if you don't cap the point that's your life as the yellow lines aka aggressive scout i like to call them the social services scout now we'll talk about the green line scout or the passive scout passive scout is i think a misnomer for the role here and i like to call them the mama bear scout the Mama Bear Scout's job is to make sure that absolutely nothing in the entire world threatens your demo. If it does threaten your demo directly, you have to go crazy bananas on it and kill it. Like a mother bear does for its cubs. If anything tries to hurt your cub, kill it. Don't try to hide from it. Don't jump around on the crates trying to mess with it run at it and kill it don't you cannot let anything happen to your demo man and that's your job as the mama bear so here step one i've got you jumping off the panels which i demonstrated how to do earlier then you just run straight forward basically and that's your step two your step three you're keeping everything off of your demo nothing runs up the ramp on your demo Nothing jumps onto your demo. If anything goes in the sky and tries to hurt your demo, just shoot it out of the air. Scout is amazing at shooting things out of the air. And that's something that you're going to have to do if anything tries to hurt your demo man. Then, after it's determined that either A, nothing is jumping, or B, the thing has already jumped or tried to hurt your demo and you killed it like a good mama bear, you're going to get buffed a bit. Try to get healed, get around one greater than 125 health, and then you charge forward. Your line four is pretty much the same as the aggressive scout. Ideally, the objective is to have both your scouts just run at them with more than full health and finish the fight, essentially winning it. It's very important as the mama bear that you do not fall on the ground unless your demo f is on the ground uh, for some weird reason. Don't fall on the ground. Don't leave the middle point area. Don't chase kills unless it's a medic that's by himself. Cap the point. Pressure them out. Protect your demo. Cap the point. And that's that's really what you do here on, on mid. It's, it's a very important role. And I, I think that's some people misunderstand passive. 
They think that means avoid damage at all costs. Don't really get involved. If anything starts to hurt your demo, you have to get involved. You have to get really involved. And even if you die doing that, if your demo man survives without taking any damage, that's a good trade. Now we'll move on to soldiers. So the red line here is the roamer. What you do is you walk out a big door and you sit and wait as, as you're one. That waiting period, you should vary how long it is. So don't always just come to mid and jump as quickly as you can. Don't come to mid and wait forever and wait for your team to die. You don't want to do, you want a happy balance between those two extremes and make sure that you don't do the same. If you do run this mid over and over and over in the course of one game or scrim, make sure that you're, you're jumping on them at different times. That way you're not super predictable so that they're not like, oh, you know, it's about that time for the roamer to jump and then they just shoot you out of the sky and don't even have to try. So vary your timings a bit and also make sure that there isn't a scout looking directly at you because the mom, their mama bear scout, unless he's a, a deadbeat mama bear, will be waiting for you. And if your aggressive scout has or someone else has not distracted him and he's just giving you the evil eye from up there, don't jump him. Do not jump into the scout. Go somewhere else. Jump your own choke. Ignore my little red lines altogether. Do something totally different other than jumping at that scout because you'll die and do absolutely nothing. Assuming that there isn't a scout staring at you, you're then going to do move on to step two, and that's you jump on them. For As far as jumping on them goes, your number one priority target is the demo. If the demo is unavailable, already incredibly injured thus such that he's not even at mid like he's hiding somewhere don't worry about him shoot at a scout shooting at a scout is always a good option uh anything else would really work the only thing i advise you of here is try to avoid shooting at the medic unless your medic has already died their medic's not gonna hurt you in the fight they're not gonna kill you they're not gonna shoot your people you're probably going to die doing this, so you need to kill someone that's going to kill someone on your team. And that way, it ba it balances out. Because if you bomb in, die, and don't kill the medic, and that's the only person you shot at, you really, really hurt your team. So don't, don't bomb the medic. Bomb anybody else but the medic, especially the demo man. If no demo man, scouts are your next best option to damage. Now we're going to talk about the pocket. So as pocket, you're the orange lines. You're going to approach mid and jump up to the left side. Once you're there, you're going to basically count to three or four. And if nothing jumps you by then, you should have a pretty good view of things going on there. If nothing has tried to kill your demo yet or your medic, then you should start progressing onwards to step two which is jump across the point so if nothing attempts to harm you then you're just going to go ahead and bomb because your roamer intends to jump already so you'll basically just do a double bomb on them then if something does attempt to kill your demo or medic then you're going to deal with that and around the time that you get 150 health, assuming there's nothing immediately in front of you to fight and your scouts aren't dead, you'll progress to step two and jump on them uh, and follow up on the damage done by your roamer. And that's going to allow your scouts time to get in without having to fight their way closer to the team. So you're mainly just looking to clean things up and then once there's an opening for you i.e their team turns around to deal with your roamer or they're sort of wondering what to do because they threw a bunch of stuff at you and it all died then you just you can jump on top of the nipple and spam them out or you can just straight up jump on them and go for kills it's it's up to you but the big mistake a lot of pockets make on this map is that they'll clean up whatever happened on the left 
uh, to their demo or medic, and then they just sit there and die. So try and be proactive. Spam rockets, jump on the nipple, jump at them, do something. So that's that's your step two. Now we're going to talk about medic. So you're going left in this strat, and if you have come up with a strat, either left or right, the next mid strat I go over will be right. It's imperative that you go left or right very quickly. Sell out immediately. Don't hang in the valley. Don't edge. Don't let yourself edge to the wrong side. A big mistake that a lot of newer medics will make is that the demo will have stickied the big door and they'll run to the right when they're supposed to go left. You have to get up to your demo as quickly as possible. I can't stress that enough. So as soon as you're able to get out of the big door, go left, go to your demo. Don't dilly dally around. You have to get up to your demo. Once you're to your demo, you're going to heal your demo and make sure that he's at reasonably good health. You don't have to take him all the way to 260. Just make my ideal number for him at mid is around 125. Once you get him around 125, he's to the point where he's not going to die to one hit from anything in the game. So, except for a sniper or a spy, and we we're not worrying about that here at mid. So, once he's above 125, everything is okay, unless he's being shot at by something really close to him. Then you're going to flash heal your scout and your pocket soldier. Whichever of those two is easiest to heal, it looks like to you, that's sort of just a decision on your part. Or if the pocket soldier wants to jump, you're going to want to heal him right now. Then your aggressive scout should be showing up unless he traded for the demo. And you're just going to heal your two scouts and your demo as you rush onto their right side. Onto their side of mid. Uh, and that's pretty much it for you on mid. The, the only other real rules for medic, on uh, as on every mid, is... If your demo man is the first person to die, leave. Don't go to mid. If something happens to your demo and you're not at mid yet, leave. If he dies during the mid fight and it's the first person, he's the first person to die, try and get out. Uh, the other one is if your mid fight has started and you lose two people other than the demo, your mid's over. You need to get out. Your team may still win. Something wonky may happen in either of those cases, but you are still alive. So even if your team wins, they shouldn't blame you for, for running away. Because chances are they're going to lose, and having you alive will mean that they can hold last. Whereas if you know you're going to lose, and you don't run away, and you die, your team is probably not going to be able to hold last. So that's the basics of med on this mid. Make sure you go left and right fast if you mean to go up left or right. Now we're going to talk about demo. As demo, I've got you going choke here. You're going to look to lock out as much as you can. So a lot of demos will put a lot of spam on big door. You want to try and back their demo up. At least shoot one sticky at him. You don't really need to do any more to him unless he's running at you. So maybe like one sticky. Try and figure out where he is if your aggressive scout hasn't called yet. And then you're going to want to try and lay damage into scouts and soldiers. If you're really fast, you can especially lay a ton of damage into soldiers. Especially if they're you're fast and they're slow for some reason. Maybe their jumper isn't very good at jumping. You'll just completely block them every mid that they try to come out of big door. So... That's ideal. You can also air sticky them if you're pretty good at uh, air stickies. And you can pretty much make it such that their scouts can't move around a whole lot on mid. So just focus on soldiers and scouts after the first one or two stickies you shoot at their demo. Probably just one really for this map. The main thing is, is if their demo goes choke too, you can't really see him because there's a big thing in the way. And that's the point itself. So and you just can't, you don't have good vision of him. So instead of spamming stickies over the edge, 
and hoping you hit their demo. Just try and lay damage onto soldiers and scouts. One very important thing, though, is if their demo has gone big door and your aggressive scout or you see a scout edging to your side, chances are they're going to double bomb you with both their soldiers. So you need to start laying defensive stickies down. You'll get a good sense of that as time goes on, like what sort of signs the team is showing you when they're going to double bomb both their soldiers and, and go for like an all-in mid strat. In that case, defensive stickies are really helpful to have. If you're wrong, you've done almost nothing at mid. So make sure that it's like, the split second before you get double bombed, you're, you've got a couple stickies down. And it, it's going to essentially be a guess on your part. Because there's no real good way to tell when both soldiers are bombing. But if you notice that there's an unusually high investment towards your side of mid early on, you may want to consider using defensive stickies. Or if the enemy team just consistently double bombs you, just go to putting down uh, defensive stickies. After all that initial phase, your goal is pretty much just to walk across the point with the scouts in front of you. Try not to fall down to the ground if you can help it. And this is the second mid strat. It's a much simpler mid strat and also much, much more aggressive. So what's going to happen here to the start is you don't really have the passive and aggressive dichotomy, but it, it's good to know who's going to do which when you come here. So your scouts are the yellow and green lines if you'll recall one scout's gonna run up the log and one scout's gonna jump off the panels and you're both gonna end up on the leftmost side of their side of mid your objective there is to zone out the demo so that he can't hurt your soldiers when they go to jump and a scout uh, fighting there and try and keep that scout away too so your objective here at the start of mid is to make sure that when your soldiers jump they aren't harassed by anything and then you're just basically fading towards the point so you're going to try and stay to the left side of their mid you don't want to get in really deep then both your soldiers are going to come out of big door they are the red and orange lines and they're going to just jump on them right away. So they're going to walk up and jump on them. They need to do it quickly because your scouts can only fight there by themselves for so long. And in general, there shouldn't be any scouts there to contest them uh, because they'll be too busy dealing with your scouts trying to shoot them in the face. So just go ahead and jump on them. You want to try and just hit whatever is there. Uh, try and hit anything that you can and then you're going to want to fade towards those crates that you'll see there but chances are you're going to stay towards the, the the middle section of their side of mid then your demo is going to run up the ramp having come out of the big door doing the big door rollout He's going to come out of the ramp after shooting some spam at their demo and scout or whatever else is here. If he doesn't see anything, he needs to say something because you may end up having to shift your mid around, uh, which I'll go over in its own section. And he'll just walk up the ramp with the medic. And then as med, just try and put out as much healing as you can. Nothing you see is probably going to have crits heals. So... Just try and do the best that you can and walk up the ramp quickly. You don't want to set in the ramp for a while because there may be something trying to shoot you in the back and you're probably going to eat a pipe uh, if you if you run up that ramp uh, slowly. If you take your time about it, it's a really easy shot for their demo to hit and don't let that happen to you. Try and get You and the demo need to try and get up there quickly and deal a lot of damage. This mid's going to be over real quick if they went left because they are going to take a massive amount of damage early and you're either all going to die or they're all going to die. This also is really effective against teams that like to split up a lot. So if you see that a team likes to throw a scout really aggressively on you 
or have a scout or scouts on the ground and a roamer jump you really early and then the rest of their team sits over on the other side and doesn't do a whole lot this strat will work very well against that because you're you're forcing them into a fight that you brought more people to and you will win as a result so try and keep that in mind now we're going to go over some tips and tricks here in closing on mid know where their demo is know whether he's big door or choke also know where their scouts are if you see their scouts have gone to their side of mid then don't worry about being aggressed on early if you see they're down on the ground or doing something weird you need to let your medic know about that etc etc you can often tell what a team is about to do as far as their mid strat based on what their scouts are doing so as a game or a scrim progresses make sure you know what their scouts are doing and see if you can learn okay when their scout does this they're attacking our side when their scout does this they're not when their scout does this or that they're then get following up in this way so make sure you've got that down and that you're trying to figure that out also if you go to the right side the aggressive right sided mid strat and they also go right so you jumped their side and they all jumped your side which can happen avoid direct confrontation until you know you have some kind of advantage you're gonna play a passive mid and they should too uh, don't engage them don't jump on them don't run at them as a scout until you know that you've got damage advantage maybe your demo had a bunch of stickies loaded and he hit him or somebody walked into a pipe or one of your soldiers hit a really good direct rocket and did like a hundred damage to a scout and they're running around all crazy like scared for their lives then everyone gets aggressive all at once just jump all over that but until that time don't don't get aggressive don't confront them and if you end up giving the first death, then you need to try to get your medic out and the rest of your team should try and suicide for their med if possible. And that's been my rough guide to playing Gullywash mid. So hopefully you enjoyed. Feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments or suggestions below.